Even in the virtual learning center, the focus of the supervisor is to ensure the student is setting and completing appropriate goals. Working in a remote environment brings a new aspect into the student's work. While we were able to quickly look at a student's work and tell if their goals were appropriate or not in the physical learning center, a virtual learning center removes all immediate and easy access to the information. In this video, we will cover some things to look for while assisting with the student's goals, as well as providing some suggestions for performing goal check. When working with your students in the remote environment, you will want to ensure you know your students and their abilities. You may already know this for students who have been with your school for a while. For students new to your school, take some time to monitor those students. They will need the extra encouragement and motivation from school staff. The Virtual Learning Center, because it is not a controlled environment, can be a challenge for any student. So use the goal check time to communicate with each student and check on how they are doing. A student who functions well in the structured, hands-on environment of the Learning Center may find the Virtual Learning Center a challenge. This new environment will play a part in their goal setting. While a student may be a great worker at school, being at home with the different distractions or the different resources may alter that student's ability to complete their work. If a student is setting what you would have considered normal goals, but seems to be struggling to complete their work, set up a time to talk with the student and see what may be affecting them. Remember to keep the lines of communication open with the student's parents. We are a team working together to help the student continue moving forward. Work with the student, evaluate what would be appropriate goals for the student, and help him take responsibility for his goals. Naturally, you will want to ask your students to write their goals on the goal cards you provided for them in their initial packet. Make sure your students understand that they are to continue using the same steps for the use of their goal card, setting their goals with a blue pen, crossing off goals only once they are completed, and setting the following day's goals after they have had their goal checked or at the end of the school day when determining what their homework goal is. Goal checking will take on a more important role for you as you are working in a virtual learning center. Because you are not able to work with a student face-to-face, -face, you will need to have time with each student to check their goals and monitor their forward progress. Due to some of the limitations of working in a remote environment, our school found it challenging to do a complete goal check for each student as a group event. As we mentioned in an earlier video, we found it difficult to use homework slips, so we utilized two opportunities to do goal check. The first opportunity to do goal check was with each student individually throughout the day. This would happen as the students completed each PACE goal. For instance, once a student completed the goal for their science pace, they would contact their supervisor and ask for goal check on that pace. The supervisor would ask the student to hold their goal card up to the camera so the supervisor could verify the goal. The supervisor would then ask the student to hold their pace up to the camera. The supervisor would then look over the pages. He would check to make sure all the questions had been answered. He would make sure proper scoring procedures had been followed in blue or black ink, and he would check to make sure all the supervisor score strips had been notated. Once the supervisor had given approval to the student, he would mark on the daily student contact log that the student had received goal check on that pace. This process would be repeated as each pace is completed throughout the day. The second opportunity for goal check we would have would be the first thing in the morning after opening exercises. The purpose of this goal check was to check for completed homework and to touch base with the student. It provided a time for the supervisor to take a couple of minutes to check on each student to see how they were doing. The video conferencing platform our school used had a waiting room. This was a help for us because the students didn't have to leave and come back. After opening exercises, we placed the students into the waiting room and then pulled them out individually. During this time, we tried to keep it to no more than three minutes per student. 
The supervisor would first look at the student's goal card to check if there was homework from the night before, as well as look over the goals set for the current day to make sure they are appropriate for the student. If the student had homework, the supervisor would then look at the pages the student had completed for homework. If the student had completed the homework, the supervisor would notate the homework on the goal check report and notate it had been completed. If the homework hadn't been completed, the supervisor would still notate the homework in the goal check report, but they would notate it was incomplete. This is how we achieved efficient goal setting and goal checking. While your school may be operating in a different environment, you will still want to watch and make sure students are setting reasonable goals. Take some time and get to know your students and their abilities. Evaluate how or if their new environment is affecting their work and help guide your students in their goal setting. Their goals should be appropriate for the remote environment. We hope this video has been able to offer some assistance. Look for the other videos in our Virtual Learning Center series for more great tips and suggestions for transitioning into a virtual learning center.